we're live at uh GMA studio yeah it's really good to see you again it's like you know, I've, I've 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 heard so much about you and you know i've been privileged to be in one of your performances and wow i can't forget it it was um <laughs> what song was that you were doing there was this this song you did your your recent song what's that i will again? go i will go man that song blew my mind <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I stood and I was wondering, I said, wow, who is, who is this guy? Why did he fall out from? He looks so awesome. And so, thank you. you so much. I mean, that's, that's awesome. So, yeah. so, I mean, how has it been? What's, what, what's, I mean, how has it been with you? I mean, ministry, music, and all. Wow. Music ministry. Music ministry has, it has been awesome for me. Music ministry is, is my second wife. <laughs> 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 married to the game. You know what I'm saying? My second wife. So someone asked me a few days ago, I was like, ah, why do you just do what you do so passionately? And I'm like, are they paying you for what you're doing? And like, even if I don't get a dime from what I'm doing, I have my business empire. I will do what I need to do because yeah, I love what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, today. yeah. So I will go was born out of a retreat where I went to my father in the Lord. Wow. Reverend Lawrence on the chain. Kudos, kudos to him wherever he is. Yeah. I love him so much. So I can't stop talking about him. So um, he asked the question and said, um, how far can you go for God? And I said, as far as he wants me to go. Wow. So that song was, but he got the, he got the um, chorus by himself. So he was just reading out the chorus, reading out the chorus. And I'm like, come on. Okay. There's something <laughs> good out of this chorus. <laughs> uh, so I'm back to the studio, Maze Beats, hit the studio and we came up with something very good. That's blessing the world now. So. Yeah. Music ministry is, is awesome. It has been a blessing. It has been from one glory to the other, one glory to the other. I tell people, if I know what I know now some years ago, yeah, wow, so I've been a different vlogger, but it's never too late to start. It's not too late to start. Stay. It's never too late to start. Yeah. It's, it's exciting. I mean, the, 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 the song has very, very compelling lyrics. I mean, the, the things you were saying in the song, when I, when I heard it, I felt like, I think I should also go. I mean, just uh, go. I mean, no. Don't go if you've not made up your mind to go. Yeah. So I will go. I did think I will go because I'm not really this song. I don't want people tell me, you're not pushing, you're not pushing, you're not pushing, you're not pushing. I'm like, you don't understand the reason behind the song. The song is not, I didn't do this. Yes, there's a place for pushing a song on platforms and all, but I didn't do that song because I wanted to just push, push, push. It was born out of the fact that, yes, it was a personal relationship with me and God. Yes, I lay my life before you surrendering my will to do your own just say it yeah anyhow you say it i'll do it just say it the way it is once god can open his mouth and say it forget it i'll do it yeah i will go as far as you want me to go like i i, I think i i i've read the story where um a song okay i think pastor nat if i'm not mistaken said um he was going for a program and the was spirit told him go to your room and lie down and okay, learn for what now? He has a program, lay down in the room, but Baba slept over. <laughs> so, in the mind of in normal human beings, why would you? How was someone going to go and go and lie down when you are supposed to go for a program? Yeah, very very urgent and all. Oh, I don't know. And he woke up from that program and he went for the program. Nothing. There was no physical, the normal this thing. Yeah. Else. When he went for that program, it was. A different ball game in time. Wow. God took it on in that event. Took it on in that event. Wow. So working with God is a different ball game for me. So I work with God differently. Different from where everybody work with God. So you work with God, okay, because you want to get something from Him, because you want to blow at some my music will get around the whole world. That's, it's not negotiable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you got it in you. I mean, it's, it's obvious. You have the energy. You have the 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 the, the, the uh, dexterity. I mean, I have. I've also seen you lead praise and worship. And I mean, it's not just about your song now, but about your person. You you, you have a way with songs and way you do your songs. But I, I can't I can't, I can't keep uh, um, thinking about what actually formed this passion in you. Wow. Growing up, <laughs> my mom. Wow. Okay, growing it's always up. Always the moms, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's always the moms, right? They always have a way okay. to make you do things. I think I'm saying this for the first time. Yeah. Or somewhere. Okay. I'm doing this song my mom didn't do. Wow. 
my mom is a fantastic singer. Wow. When I say fantastic singer, I mean fantastic singer. She can go on. The energy is from her because she can go on for hours. Wow. I can last on stage. I, I, I say this to God for giving me the strength. I can stay on stage for four hours and I will not shake. Wow. My mom will go more than. Whoa. <laughs> That's she will go more than. She has written a lot of songs that she didn't, she, she wasn't privileged to, to do. So whenever I look back at the fact that she didn't do it, you know, I was like, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I'll have to, I have to get things done. Exactly, exactly. So growing up, I grew up in a, in a Christian background. Okay. Christian family and, um, yeah. My father is a, is a pastor, my mom, family, my, my other brother is a pastor. So wow. it's a house of ministers. Ministers. <laughs> and all you guys, so everybody comes their niche. Okay. My niche is music. So if you come to the house and there's no Conrad in the music setting, everybody, everybody are waiting for Conrad to come so that they can now put the music, music inside, inside, the inside the whole the thing. Spice. So <laughs> there's, there's one, my, my brother, the one that my immediate other brother is a prayer machine. Wow. So when you want to pray, just call him and put him there. He will pray the prayer. Wow. <laughs> he will pray the prayer and all. So everybody has, has their own spice in the house. Yeah. But music, growing up, Christian background, you don't have a choice not to serve God. Yeah. My father always te tells us to today, we tell you, I dedicated all, all of you to God. If you sway, you're on your own. On your own. I have dedicated all of you to God. So if you sway, you're on your own. So you don't have a choice. I remember that there's a rope on your waist that is dragging you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's, there's a rope on your waist that is dragging you. <laughs> yeah. So you just, you just have to stay in line. But I've never regretted serving God. Yes, yes, yes. He always comes through. He yeah, always, always comes come through. through. That's just that word. He, right always there. Comes he always comes through. He always comes through. So people look at, thank God for the platform I have today yeah. in my church, the King's Heritage Church. And um, come on. Just say it. I will do it. Just make it God. I will follow through. Not my will. But yes, alone be done. I will go anyway as far as you want. Still with uh, Conrad Ekene, the guy that did the wonderful song, I'll Go. We've been on this talk for a couple of minutes now, and yeah. I've learned so, so much from him. Because not only is he a singer, but he has the word of God. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> rare these days to see. You, you, could, you could see a lot of gospel artists out there who just sing and make melody. But when you sit down with them and talk, you realize that they're actually empty. I mean, I, I wonder how people actually write lyrics for God's, for God's music or for gospel music without even knowing the scripture. How, so, I mean, how, so how does I, that work? I, I, my first question to every music artist is, who do you listen to? Who do you listen to? Wow. How much time do you spend with God? How much time do you read the Bible? But let's be frank. If you read your Bible and, yes, there's a place for the Holy Spirit to help you discern some scriptures and all but when you listen you have someone you listen to it directs what you what you go back to read exactly so i i have my pastor like i will see i'm so sorry i'll keep calling <laughs> no, his no, name come on, come on man it's, it's, yeah, come name, on, yeah yeah i have my pastor i listen to and it wasn't like this before okay it wasn't like this before so people see me now like ah oh, god there's something about you something about you it wasn't like this before. So um, the, whole, the whole twist came when I encountered my pastor. And I found out that it's not the, um, I don't know, it's not the regular kind of pastor. It's not the regular kind of pastor. When you sit down under a spiritual authority and you are, you are learning God's word in a different light. You are learning God's word pertaining to what you do. You're learning that same God's word, broken down into pieces, broken down spiritually, physically, emotionally. As in, one scripture can be divided into, into parts. And yeah, before yeah, you, you can't even, yeah. you can't, you can't, you can't Exhaust, gather the pieces. You can't gather, you can't gather exactly. the, this thing. So you take time to digest it individually. Digest. 
Because uh, most like they say, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word, word of God. Of God yes. So you keep hearing, hearing, and hearing. You find out one day that you just become what you hear, what you what you hear, and what you. Because if you tell someone, when when you tell a child growing up, um, nothing good can come out of you. He gravitates towards that because exactly. that's, that's what he hears, he hears all the time. repeatedly while growing up. Wow. But when you when you would tell a child, you are you are the best in your field. Lines fall to him. You give him good words. You you have one life to live. Make it count. This one. You just keep telling him words that you find out that he will be compelled to be pushed to do it. So when I got when I when I met my pastor, that's, that's when I understood that words are powerful. Are powerful. Yeah. So. He did, like, like, like I said, it depends on what you listen to. So he, he crafts out a declaration and we declare every day. Declare every day, declare every day. And you go back. I, I went back recently. To, I recently I knew that those declarations were not just mere words from the head. I went back to go and search the scriptures. And I saw those declarations in, in the scriptures. And I was blown away. Wow. And I'm like, if you read the preceding scripture, you know, you, you can't just put everything in the declaration. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If you read the preceding scriptures, come on. It's, it said, there, there's, there's one, part, I think Colossians chapter 1 verse 9, so it's talked about the eyes of your understanding being enlightened to know yeah, and, enjoy. and enjoy. So if you know, you will enjoy. First of all, your, your eyes of your understanding has to be Open, enlightened to yeah, know. Yeah, enlightened. If you don't know, you cannot enjoy. That's true. That's so if you don't know, if you don't know, you cannot you cannot have access. If you don't know, you cannot. There's 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 little you can do. So your eyes of understanding has to be enlightened first of all to know. So it's you listen to a lot, a lot of music ministers don't have the spiritual authority over their head. So you just listen to anything, anywhere, 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 anywhere. Do they don't have the right guidance? Go. I pray that God will lead them to the right person. Amen. <laughs> I, 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 I think to them just about the melody and the, and how the general music thing works for them. They don't they don't really care about the souls they are singing yes, to. No. Because if they do, I, I believe they will have done a little bit of research to know at least how can I better communicate, knowing that the Holy Spirit has a role, you know, in playing yes. yeah, a particular role in your music, and also that uh, um, your your relationship with the Holy Spirit also has a role Road. because you cannot take people where you have not gone to. You've not gone to, of course. Exactly. You can't take where you've not Yeah. Gone. So, so far, I think your, your, your music carries uh, it, all that puts in together. That, that's an element of, you know, uh, spirituality communicated in your songs. And first of all, God, God sent us to one person. Souls. Wow. Yeah. Whatever you're doing in the kingdom, whatever you're doing, whether you're doing music or you're doing anything, major assignment is souls. So if you are singing for a wrong reason, I don't know. <laughs> I believe in my name. <laughs> because if know. souls are not transformed by what you're doing, please go and do something else. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because you just defeat the purpose at which you yeah, do what you need to do. So souls is the target. The pastor will tell you. Souls, straight. If it's not souls, I don't know. You can't. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what, don't know what you're doing. doing. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't took me time to understand yeah, that. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would not catch myself on the street. I don't understand how, how. Yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, it has to come from a place of passion. Yes. For those souls. Now, when you're singing, there's a mindset. Uh, you, you know this this music is something. It works with the work. It works, works with, with the mind. mind. Yeah. It works with your spirit and everything. It works. Everything works in synergy. Yeah. So if, if if one is disconnected, I don't know. I don't know what. Um, what would be your uh, your take on you know, the current uh, church system right now? In those days, we have this uh, mentality that um, if you are if you are a sinner, you should not come to God. I mean, you should be you should, you should just be far away from God. You have to be. First of all, cleans before even coming to God's presence. But uh, these days we have, we are able to come to God even without any form of fear. I mean, the Bible actually says that, you know, come to the throne of grace and optimize for all time of need. How do you, how does this particular current um, church system where people can come to God the way they are and God still accept them, how does it really affect, how does it affect the entire Christian community? 
or how does that affect the souls that will be saved for Christ? So, um, um, if I'm getting your question well, um, talking about the current system of so, um, you sinners coming to God the way they are and all. So, first of all, I tell people, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? That is the root of everything. But first of all, you have to um, accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. That's where it all starts from. If you accept Jesus, then we take it off from there. Because you know, I, can't say, I can't say all Christians, because a lot of people don't even understand that aspect. I pray their eyes of understanding will be enlightened Lighting. to know. Because if they know what they are missing, Oh my goodness. If they know what they are missing, find out that, okay, 70% of youths that are languishing out there in, um, in depression, um, what's it called? What's this regular addiction? Addiction and yeah. all. So they, they don't know. They don't know how much God loves them. Mm. For God to send his son for only sinners. He didn't send them, he didn't send himself for righteous people. He sent them for sinners. And the sinners are not, are not those inside the church. Yeah. The sinners yeah. are those on the street. Ah, on the street, yes. So yes. they don't know. Now, the Christian, the, 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 some part of the body of, the part of church, don't help them know what they, they are missing. So it makes them stay there. Yeah. They will magnifies what they do on their head. It magnifies the fact that ah, because you sinned today, you are condemned to death and all. It magnifies it in their head. And if only the, the, the some set of body of Christ knows and they, they are they are enlightened, they'll be able to rescue those people from that place. So I tell people whenever I come, when, whenever I come across them, I'm like, if you accept Jesus here, let's take it off from there. So it's it's one step at a at a time. You cannot just snap out of it. It takes someone, I was saying the guy I was counseling, I told him it take, took you 15 years to go through all this. 15 years 15 in addiction years. Wow. and you want to just come out of it in a flash. In a flash. No, 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 no. It takes, not, it takes a yeah. process. And the process. And you must be willing to stay through that process. Yeah. So that's the common the fact that you are willing to let go. You are willing. Then let it be that you're, you're, it's a process. It's, it's, it's gradual, gradual. Then the fact that People don't uh, explain to people that Jesus loves them or Jesus has paid the price for them. He has paid everything. And he didn't pay half. He paid it in full. in full. He paid it in full. So uh, it brings me back to the fact that, yes, I've accepted Jesus right now. Right now. Jesus is not my father. So my earthly father, you are my earthly father now. So I, 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 I took your 1,000 around your wardrobe. I'm telling you. And I go out and I come back. And... You scold me, yeah, you did it. That doesn't change the fact that you love me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Doesn't change the no, fact. No, it doesn't change the fact, yes. Doesn't change. So it's now me to know that my father loves me regardless of what I do. He still loves me. Like me, my, me I, I'm very close to my, my, my father, my dad. Okay. I'm very close to him. If everybody comes to the house and, do, and ask my dad for something and he didn't give them, just wait for me to come back. I know the button to go and press. <laughs> so just know the button to press with God. Yeah, yeah. And I was reading, I was reading, um, I think Romans 14, Romans 14 yesterday, yesterday morning before I went to church, Romans 14, talked about the fact that we operate with God differently. Yes. We operate with God differently. So the way you operate with God is a different way I operate with God. Exactly. So because I'm high in faith, I shouldn't judge you because you're, you're not able, to, you're get you're get able to get to my level. Yes, to get to my level. So, that's true. So it's, it's, it's a person. That's why it's called a personal relationship with God. But it's, it's, it's we as Christians helping those that are down, help them come up. And you're helping them, you're helping them come up with love. Love is the ultimate. Yes. Love is the ultimate. Once you can show someone love, I can't say that there's, there's no bad boy out there that you will show love and he won't be broken. Yeah. Once you can show them love, is that love that's lacking in the Christian domain? See that love? Yeah. Love is lacking. So once that love comes to set in, once that love sets in, you find out that bitterness is out. All those stuff. And once they're out, you will see these people like, these people are really, they really need what yeah, I have. Exactly. So it will be easy for you to reach out to them where and they are and out. draw them close. Regardless of the process it will take you. It will, it's going to be a process, but regardless of the process, you will be willing to stay true because you know that these people are really missing a whole lot from what you are gaining. So why are we gaining alone? 
Wow. Why not we go out there wow. and just wow. track them? Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, it's been a wonderful chat with. <laughs> you, can, I mean, you can't deny the fact that he is loaded. <laughs> You can't just deny that fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I need to meet your father in the Lord. <laughs> Would you need to meet him? I need to meet you. Him. Need to meet him. I need to meet that man, man. Because what do you say right now? I, I mean, I'm, I'm like relearning Christianity afresh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what, 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 what a coincidence! My father, my father in law is on. My father in law is Reverend Lawrence on a chair. Yeah, he's he's really on the series right now. What love got to do with it? Oh wow. Wow, what love, love got to do with it? Lots to do with it. It's just your day-to-day -day activity. Love got to do with it. Exactly. Everything you do in life, in everything, even in your your business, love has a place inside of it. Do you get exactly. so, it's true. So it's, true. It's, it's not it's not rocket science that we are we're discussing it right now. It's good to have you around, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Ekene so himself. Much. I I I I I hope to have you back on this show soon. Yeah, and I'll be I'll be highly. I mean, we'll have to talk about this further because people <laughs> need to hear what you have. It's yeah, a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. So good to have you around. Thank you so Please much. Please check him out. Is uh, on 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 his Instagram page. Instagram, official Conrad. Official Conrad. Facebook Conrad. Yeah, for the, also Conrad Twitter, too. Official Conrad. Exactly. So Conrad all the way. Conrad, <laughs> he Conrad. put the official on it, and then the Conrad comes later. <laughs> and then make sure you check out his song. Yeah, I will go. I will go. It's on a um, gospel music platform. Yes. It's on audio mark. It will be on GMA soon after yes. this interview. So yeah. please check out. Check it get out. to listen to the song. It's a beautiful song. And let, 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 don't just listen to the song because you want to just, yeah, I want to go and check out that song. Let him minister to you. And yeah, yeah. Be willing yeah. to tell God, this is what I want to lay down for you. Exactly, exactly. I lay down my life. I lay down that addiction. I lay down that um job that takes my time i lay down that relationship that takes my time too much because first of all god is your first love yeah so you must be able to willing to lay down that stuff and go with him you cannot regret it yeah i cannot regret it thank you very thank much thank you so much for having me <laughs> <laughs> good to have thank you. you so much thank you, thank you so yeah. much thank you jesus not my will father but yours alone be done hallelujah I lay my life before you, surrendering my will to do your own. Just say it, I will do it. Just speak it, God, I will follow through. Not my will, but yours alone be done. I lay my life before you. Surrendering my will to do your own Just say it, I will do it Just make it God, I will follow through Not my will, but yes alone be done I will go anywhere as far as you want Jesus, Lord, we will go, we will go as far as the leaders. Where well, you say we will go, God. Everybody say, I lay my life before you. I surrender, say, surrender. Just say Jesus, just say I will do, I will do it. Just speak it, just speak it God. I will follow through, will follow through. not my will. Not my will. <laughs> just alone be done. Lift your voice and say, I lay my life before you. I surrender everything. Surrender in my will to do your own. Hey, Lord, just say it, God. Just say it. I will do.